Okay, good afternoon all. Okay, in this today's session, uh, we are going to discuss the uh, applications of the plastic materials. Uh, from last few sessions, uh, we are discussing the plastic material. In uh, previous few sessions, I will just uh, we have completed the uh, introduction of the plastic, uh, then classification of the plastic material uh, into two basic types: thermoplastic material and thermosetting plastic material. Then we have discussed their properties, advantages, disadvantages, and uh, some comparison points. And after that, uh, we have completed the uh, polymerization. And uh, in that polymerization, we have discussed uh, their brief types uh, like addition polymerization, condensation polymerization, uh, then uh, copolymerization, coordination polymerization, like this. And uh, in yesterday's session, we have completed the uh, testing of the plastic materials. And uh, in that, we have completed uh, four tests tensile testing of the plastic material, then flexural testing, uh, then uh, impact testing, and uh, tensile impact energy testing. Then, uh, in today's session, uh, we will discuss the applications of the plastic materials. Uh, here, I have I highlighted the uh, few specific applications according to the materials. I have collected uh, approximately 10 or 12 of material. 18 materials I have collected here. This part uh, we will see at the end. Uh, in today's session, we will complete the applications of the plastic material uh, sector wise. And in that, uh, in today's session, we will uh, discuss the applications of plastic in agricultural field, then applications of the plastics uh, in the packaging field. And after that, we will discuss the application of uh, plastics in transportation and construction. Okay, I have added some uh, slides. Okay, in three sectors, we will try to finish it in today's session, and uh, remaining three four sections we will complete in the uh, next session. Okay, and now the first sector we will start with that is the agriculture sector. Uh, so initially i will give you the uh, some <coughs> classification uh, sorry some materials which we are practically using for that please refer the third point whichever uh, slide is visible on your screen please refer the third point from the wide range of the plastic materials basically in the agricultural sector polyethylene then polyethylene polypropylene then polyvinyl chloride and that is nothing but our pvc material then uh, ethylene vinyl acetate okay it is uh, denoted by a uh, short form that is eva ethylene vinyl acetate okay uh, then uh, some polymer uh, polymers or plastic materials are there uh, that we are using uh, less frequently and that materials are polycarbonate then polymethyl uh, methacrylate okay pmma this is polymethyl Mitha acrylate. Okay, these are commonly used plastic materials in the agricultural field. From these materials, we are using them or we are converting them into the different forms. It may be in the form of a product or it may be in the form of some films. Okay, we can give them the uh, different shapes and sizes and we are applying them in the agricultural field. Now, Due to application of the plastic materials, okay, due to application of the plastic materials uh, in the agricultural field, uh, the what are the advantages are there, or what advantages uh, farmers are getting? That I have highlighted in the uh, first point. Okay, due to increasing use of the plastic materials in the agricultural field. Uh, we are having lots of advantages or farmers are getting lots of advantages and the first advantage is uh, it results in the increased crop production okay how it results in the increased crop uh, production means due to use of the plastics suppose uh, we are using some greenhouses okay due to that greenhouses uh, lots of energy saving will be there and how that energy saving is occurring that I will explain in the uh, specific applications in the agriculture sector. Just here what you have to understand that uh, the whichever crop production is there, uh, that use of the different plastic materials, uh, it is 
helping the farmers to increase the crop production then again it is improving the food quality and it is reducing the ecological footprints okay now uh, what here i think uh, you are aware with the crop production and food quality but this is little bit new word that is ecological footprint okay reduction in their ecological footprints what is the meaning of ecological footprints any idea you can put that in the chat box okay ecological footprints means the requirement of the land okay requirement of the land from the peoples or communities uh, and to I means to sustain in the environment by using the available resources that is termed as the ecological footprints okay means use of the land use of the agricultural land uh, to generate uh, you can say that to generate or to sustain the uh, in the environment by generating some quality foods means whichever land is required by the peoples or suppose 1 lakh peoples are there and to generate the food to so that that all 1 lakh population can be sustain uh, that amount of land is reducing means it is very helpful that uh, plastic materials are very helpful as uh, land required is reducing means in the minimum land we are taking the uh, more crop production okay more crops are produced means with the minimum land we are serving more peoples that, that's why this term is reduced uh, used that is reduced their ecological footprints means means uh, you can use the minimum land uh, very effectively in small land also we are producing the crops and uh, that can be supplied to the uh, means whichever demand is there or the whichever population is uh, demanding that food we can supply that with the uh, minimum area that's why this term is used reduced their ecological footprints okay now uh these plastic materials we are not only uh, using for vegetables we are also using them for the fruits and due to this uh, they are helping us to improve the food quality now how this food actually food quality is improved and that you will understand in the applications okay i will first show you few applications now these are the greenhouses the first application is the greenhouses now what is the greenhouse greenhouse is the you can say that the intensive care units means whichever plants are there that plants are exposed to the sunlight and the ideal conditions for that per suppose you are taking one uh, vegetable or fruit then whichever environmental conditions are suitable for that particular growth of that particular vegetable or, or fruit that economical conditions we can create in the greenhouses means whichever environmental conditions are there that you can control okay with the help of this greenhouses as you are providing the uh, what you can say that the friendly environment for the uh, growth of that uh, crop then it will uh, grow very rapidly or good quality vegetables or fruits can be produced as the environmental conditions are as uh, you can say that uh, in ways or uh, friendly je kai tumcha crop production sathi necessary conditions asta okay means suppose one crop is there that you required this much of water supply or this much temperature means whichever conditions are there for that particular vegetable or fruit uh, for its growth or for faster and good quality growth that environmental conditions you can control in this greenhouses okay so that's why these greenhouses are very useful here uh, in the second paragraph also you can read that means uh, whichever conditions are there uh, suppose sometimes you are taking the fruits like grapes okay due to unseasonal rains it will get damaged automatically it will affect the production okay and it will also affect the quality of that grapes and if you are having any uh, means if you construct the greenhouse you can protect that grapes from the unseasonal rains 
or sometimes for uh, some vegetables high temperatures it will affect the quality okay uh, so that temperature of parameters also you can control with the help of this greenhouses means whichever condition is suitable for the healthy growth of that vegetable or fruits you can provide that environment or you can create that environment artificially we are creating that environment so that whichever vegetables we are taking or whichever fruits we are uh, taking it will grow uh, with the high quality and as per our requirement okay and uh, that all conditions can be obtained with the help of these greenhouses i have added one slide here here in this left corner you can see these are the greenhouses okay one greenhouse i have shown here means different kinds of nowadays the farmers are doing different kinds of flowers that production they are doing in this uh, greenhouses okay it will give you the uh, more production that means you are not uh, due to use of this greenhouses uh, whichever farming you are do doing it it does not depend on the season nowadays as you can control the environmental condition whichever temperature you want or whichever uh, water conditions are required for that particular uh, vegetable or fruit you can create that with the help of these greenhouses so it will improve the uh, production rate and also it will improve the quality as that vegetable or fruit is getting the necessary environment which will help it to grow with the high quality okay got this point these are the greenhouses in the same way whichever work is done there by these greenhouses the same work is done by the tunnels okay some tunnels are there it is very much similar to greenhouse only but only difference is there between their length length and they are little bit complex okay length is uh, means they are very uh, long you can say that that's why they are called as tunnels very much uh, their construction is very much similar to the tunnel that's why this name is given as tunnel and here also you can control the environmental conditions and whichever uh, crops production you want to take you can do that these are the tunnels and these are the greenhouses these are very much similar in working only difference is there in their uh, length or complexity you can say that these are the greenhouses greenhouses means its shape is like uh, your house only and these are little bit complex so they are longer and uh, their height is very short okay depending on the uh, your vegetable or fruits uh, you can either go for greenhouses or go for the tunnels now uh, the material used for this okay to manufacture these films we are using generally polyethylene material is used generally we are using polyethylene material for manufacturing these films whichever films uh, are used for these greenhouses or tunnels that are made from the polyethylene material okay then uh, next application uh, is mulching okay what is the mulching i think you have seen this mulching but uh, have you seen it okay mulching is nothing but we are just covering the ground with the help of a plastic film with the help of the plastic film we are covering it and what is the use of that mulching you can control the humidity you can control the humidity at the root of that vegetable okay means you can protect that particular area from the sunlight or high temperature conditions due to that what will happen whichever water is there at the root of that vegetable or fruit or whichever crop you are taking that water does not uh, evaporates it does not evaporates it stays at the root of that crop and due to that what will happen humidity will be there and that crop will get the desired amount of water and it will grow with the uh, high quality okay and here i have mentioned that you can go through this point and also it will help to prevent the weed from growing okay weed from growing weed means मराठी मध्ये त्याला गवत किंवा तण असं काहीतरी म्हणतो असतो म्हणजे आपले जे व्हेजिटेबल्स लावले ते सोडून काही कॉंग्रेसचे गवत किंवा अननेसेसरी क्रॉप्स जे येतात 
तर त्याची डेव्हलपमेंट होऊ देत नाही किंवा ग्रोथ स्टॉप करते ओके दॅट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस मल्चिंग पेपर और मल्चिंग फिल्म आय विल शो यू द डायग्राम ओके हियर यू कॅन सी दिस दीज आर द मल्चिंग शीट्स आर यू गेटिंग दिस फ्रॉम दिस गॅप विच एव्हर फ्रुट्स और व्हेजिटेबल इज देअर इट विल ग्रो वी आर जस्ट प्रोटेक्टिंग द रूट एरिया root area and its surrounding area we are protecting with this mulching paper or mulching sheets okay so that that uh, vegetable or whichever crop we are taking it will get the necessary humidity and uh, protection from the environmental conditions like uh, in summer season if high temperature is there we can uh, protect the water from getting evaporated okay the crop will get desired amount of water then uh, next application is the silage the silage before that silage uh, some plastic reservoirs and irrigation systems are there now in the plastic reservoir uh, reservoir means the reservoirs are or you can say the different tanks means where we are storing the water whichever equipments we are using to store the water for doing our farming effectively means suppose rainy season is there then uh, we are uh, storing whichever rainy water is there rain water is there we are storing it and to avoid its uh, evaporation uh, we are uh, means manufacturing some dams and that dams are covered with the plastic material or plastic films and that plastic films are uh, made from this polyethylene material okay so uh, whichever different reservoirs or tanks are there or different irrigation systems we are using okay so for, for example uh, drip irrigation system is there that uh, small black colored pipes are there we are using that what is the use of that we are reducing the wastage of water as wastage of water is reduced means we are saving the water and that water is saved we are saving our money okay and we are also storing the um, suppose that water uh, whichever water we are wasting previously that water we are able to save now means uh, in uh, suppose in very suppose whenever water is not available or in summer season we can use that stored water effectively okay means it will reduce your cost also and uh, that irrigation drip irrigation system or that pipes are there that are made from the uh, plastic only okay that is i think ldp and hdp plastic is used that is low density polyethylene and high density polyethylene material is there that uh, we are using in the manufacturing of this uh, and uh, irrigation system we are using ldp or hdp and in case of the plastic tanks simply we are using the pvc material okay i'll show you the diagrams okay so these are some storage tanks or water tanks then we'll move move towards the next point that is the silage films okay now what is the use of this silage films silage films now these are used for storing the uh, animal foods okay animal straws or grains straws or grains that we are feeding to the animal madhe mate chala bhagat ko apan to kadba vagare manto baka sheti karun alan tar kadba kadun thevlela asto tar tala protect karnyasathi to protect that uh, animal straws or whichever animal grains are there to protect them from the different environmental condition we are uh, wrapping them into the silage films okay this diagram you can see this diagram in this slide at the right corner Okay, these are used for protecting that animal grains or animal straws, and we can use that stored material for uh, one year, two year like this. Means it will protect from the uh, means whichever environmental hazards is there, it will protect that grains, and it will maintain the quality also. So these are the silage films. tanks also i have explained so uh, these are some applications 
of the plastic material in the agricultural field and uh, some other applications i have highlighted in the uh, last point here so whichever crops we are collecting okay at the end suppose uh, we are producing uh, some pomegranate is there pomegranates or apples are there or grapes are there for collecting that at the end we are collecting that product and to collect that we are using the plastic crates plastic crates we are using or you can say plastic boxes are there and to transport uh, that crop or whichever vegetable fruits we are producing to the end customer or end user whichever suppose you have produced grapes all grapes uh, you have to supply to the consumer or customers then to do that we have to do the uh, packaging or some boxing is done and to do this all activities we are using the plastic boxes okay plastic boxes or plastic crates are there okay you can uh, write that also in the applications and to do the packaging also packaging or storing we are using the plastic materials only okay so all these are the applications of the plastic material uh, in the agricultural field okay so you can step wise you can uh, give, try to remember the applications okay in from the start to protect them uh, we are using greenhouses or tunnels we are taking means creating the suitable environmental conditions so that uh, whichever crop is there it will grow uh, very nicely then the mulching is also done to protect them uh, then uh, whichever reservoirs we are using to store the water then irrigation system and sillages and some common applications uh, which means the plastic material which we are using for collecting the crop then handling handling of that crop and transporting that crop from one place to the another place okay so these are the applications uh, in the uh, field of agriculture and sometimes they may ask you the questions uh, why we are using the plastics in the agricultural sector uh, so uh, there are basic two reasons the one reason is a innovative and sustainable solution here in this innovative and sustainable solution due to the plastic materials what you have to answer here how that use of plastic material is a uh, effective means how it is reducing the cost or how it is saving the money and how it is uh, helping us to improve the uh, production crop production that answer you have to give here whichever applications i have described from that we have understood that Uh, as we are using the drip irrigation system suppose for example we are using drip irrigation system made from the plastic material it will save the water and as water is saved money is also saved and water will be available uh, or we can use that water in very effective way okay so it will automatically reduce the cost that you have to write and uh, due to use of the plastic material uh, some nowadays in uh, deserted areas okay in deserted areas uh, we can do the uh, means plantation or we can take the different crops also in the deserted areas je apan kay mhanto yala dushkal grast bhag bhi te ahe tya thikani apan crop production kas karu shakto by or with the help of green houses green houses or tunnels we can control the environment and we can take the required crops that you can write here in the innovative and sustainable solutions and here as the plastic irrigation pipes prevents the waste of water and the nutrients uh, then the rain water can be uh, retained in the reservoirs which are built again with the help of plastics now due to this the use of pesticides can be reduced by keeping crops in a closed space such as greenhouses or for mulching or under the plastic films okay whichever pest why we are using the pesticides to our ultimate aim is to increase the crop production but now as we are able to control the environmental conditions without use of the pesticides 
we are getting more crop production without use of that pesticides means we can avoid the use of that pesticides okay and due to that we are able to produce the food uh, which is having very high quality okay so these are the advantages uh, then recycling and recovery opportunities this is again a very big advantage of plastic material whichever plastic material we are using uh, suppose i have told you that for manufacturing of uh, that greenhouse is film we are using polyethylene material okay so we can recycle that material okay we can recycle that material we can collect suppose now we, uh, we have finished that greenhouses or we have stopped that project then that material can be collected and it is broken in small pieces that small pieces you can say that the uh, plastic pellets are okay? it is termed as pellets say chote apla we are making small small parts circular parts it will be termed as plastic pellets okay means and after converting it into plastic pellets and we can go for the different processing methods and we can convert that material into different shapes and sizes means we can recycle that material okay and those materials uh, suppose some materials are there if by any how uh, it is not possible to recycle it we can do the uh, co combustion of it and we can obtain some energy also okay so in this way uh, some plastic materials can be recycled uh, very effectively and some recovery can be also possible hence we are going these are the features these are the features means we can do the lots of innovations in the plastic material and uh, recycling is also possible that's why uh, you have to add this in the features or the reasons behind the use of this uh, plastic material in the agricultural sector okay after discussing this uh, applications in the agricultural sector we will move towards the use of the plastic material okay if you are having any query you can write that in the chat box hello sir for one minute here if any query is there please ask me uh, sir uh, uh, other two advantages before mulchi hello हेलो सर टू एडवांटेजेस व्हाई इज नॉट ऑडिबल ओके यू वांट टू नो द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ मल्चिंग पेपर सॉरी सर एप्लीकेशन इज प्रोवाइड रिप्लाई आई एम नॉट गेटिंग दिस क्वेश्चन एग्जैक्टली टू एडवांटेजेस बिफोर मल्चिंग एप्लीकेशन सर sir you are asking me advantages of uh, mulching paper or advantages of the plastic materials sir yes, features of the plastic materials application sir application
applications application of plastic materials or just you want to what you are expecting me uh, from my side that is to explain that mulching process or two applications before that mulching greenhouses and tunnels can you hear me sir hello before mulch okay okay before mulching two points are there that i will explain okay before mulching uh, greenhouses and uh, tunnels are there okay greenhouses i will explain it with the help of diagram okay so these two are the applications of the uh, plastics in the agricultural sector the first application is the greenhouse okay we are preparing this greenhouse okay so uh, this is manufactured with the help of polyethylene material and what is this greenhouse greenhouse is nothing but the intensive care unit okay as for uh, uh, means uh, humans Uh, we are in the hospital having icu center like that very much similar to that uh, intensive care unit is there for the crops and here we are creating the or in simple way this house whichever temperature is there or whichever environmental conditions are there for this house that can be controlled by us okay so whichever conditions are very much suitable Uh, for healthy growth of the uh, vegetables or that particular crop that can be created in this greenhouse in suppose for a particular crop we want 30 degree celsius temperature then we can maintain 30 degree celsius temperature uh, means in any uh, season in summer season also we can maintain 25 or 20 degree celsius temperature like this in so whichever temperature you want to maintain for the faster growth of that crop that can be maintained in this greenhouse okay and uh, due to this what will happen due to controlled environmental conditions or whichever conditions are healthy for the faster growth of that crop we can create here in this greenhouse and very much similar to greenhouse uh, we are manufacturing this tunnels okay only difference is that these are having uh, very means longer length okay these are little bit lengthy or these are tunnel shape okay their working or functioning is very much similar to the greenhouses okay uh, whether your query is resolved okay 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 now uh, we will move towards the next sector that is applications of the plastic materials in the packaging okay now uh, before discussing the actual applications now first we will try to understand what are the uh, features or characteristics uh, are provided by the plastic material means due to that properties that plastic material is very suitable for the use of packaging and uh, that properties i have highlighted in the first point itself okay plastic materials okay why the packaging of the products is done with the plastic material only because the plastic material gives flexibility okay means the uh, variety of the production can be done with the help of plastics mean plastic can be formed in the form of film okay from plastic material we can form a thin film or from plastic material we can produce the thick components also means we can produce the mulching paper or that mulching sheet and we can produce the storage tank also are you getting this point means variety is there that you can say we are having lots of flexibility then strength and lightness 
plastic material will provide you very high strength and their weight is very low this also uh, this uh, we have already studied in the properties of the plastic materials is they will provide you high strength with very less weight then they are very much stable stable in this sense uh, their dimensions does not changes due to the environmental conditions dimensions or other chemical or physical properties does not gets affected due to the environmental condition that's why we are using the plastic material for packaging uh, then barrier properties are there and ease of sterilization okay means ease of sterilization means that uh, whenever we are using the plastic material suppose for example uh, for packaging of the foods suppose for example chocolate okay that chocolate is a uh, uh, packed in the plastic material means it will create the barrier means it does not get contaminated due to the environmental condition suppose in the environment dust is there or sand is there due to that plastic material it will create the barrier between the actual product and the outside environment means material from outside environment cannot enter into that food okay whichever sand or dust is there it cannot penetrate that plastic cover and cannot enter into the actual chocolate okay means contamination is not possible due to its barrier properties and easily suppose ease of sterilization means uh, easily uh, sterilization apan tela marathi mere ka manto nirjantukikaran karne okay means uh, easily uh, suppose some tablets are there okay medicines are there means it does not get easily contaminated means how uh, you can say it will protect the whichever food or material is there from outside environmental conditions and due to these properties we are using the plastic material for the packaging then due to these features uh, the plastic material is used for domestic as well as industrial applications number of applications are there okay uh, then in the third point they have added that point here okay plastic food packaging means it does not affect the taste of food or quality of the food suppose you have uh, wrapped that suppose milk is there milk or curd we are storing in the plastic packaging only it does not affect the quality of that food means plastic material does not get uh, in con means it, it will not get eroded and it does not get included in the food that is the property you can say that it will create the barrier properties barrier properties and some ease of sterilization is there that's why we are using this plastic materials uh, for the food packaging and uh, here some applications i have highlighted plastics can be used for packaging of fresh meats uh, then for storing of the uh, different beverages okay beverages are nothing but your uh, cold drinks whichever uh, cold drinks you are uh, drinking or some uh, fruit juices are there and suppose your pepsi or your coca cola all these are stored in the plastic bottle uh, then whichever edible oils are there edible oils म्हणजे तुम्ही जे घरगुती स्वयंपाकामध्ये जे तुम्ही तेल वापरता इडिबल ऑइल्स दॅट ऑइल्स विच वी आर इटिंग ऑर युजिंग फॉर कुकिंग दी फूड दॅट इडिबल ऑइल्स आर ऑल्सो स्टोअर्ड इन दी प्लास्टिक मटेरियल आय दर दे आर इन दी दॅट प्लास्टिक स्मॉल टँक ठीक आहे ऑर सम बॅग यू कॅन से दॅट प्लास्टिक बॅग इज देअर इट इज रॅपड इन दी प्लास्टिक बॅग देन डिफरंट काइंड्स ऑफ सॉसेस मीन्स whichever uh, your food is there packaged food is there it is stored with the help of plastic material only okay and you can write any product whenever you are going for the shopping you can observe that nowadays all the materials are wrapped or whichever packaging is done it is done with the help of plastic material only okay here you have to mention the features why we are using that plastic material for the packaging 
and after that you have to explain <coughs> some applications now here i have highlighted the uh, benefits okay these are the applications you can write it okay in very short way i have explained it but uh, you can write number of applications whichever packaging material or packaging uh, products packaged products you are seeing that you can write here uh, then here i have highlighted the some benefits of the use of the plastic material Uh, just i will take uh, some few minutes i will complete this part okay i will complete this packaging part and then i will stop this session the remaining part we will discuss in the next session okay now these are the benefits of using the plastic material in the packaging the first benefit is the lightest packaging material now how that packing material okay lightweight packing material will economically affect you that i have explained in this slide okay please you can go through that point read it read it carefully it's how it will affect okay first point i have highlighted in the percentage but at the in the second paragraph you can get that means when we are using lightweight packaging means lighter load will be there as lightweight packaging is there lighter load will be there and as lighter load is there due to that lighter load it will result in the less load in the transportation it will reduce the transportation cost as transportation cost is reduced the cost or consumption of the uh, you can say that your fuels is also reduced means it is reducing the fuel cost also and as fuel cost is reduced emissions are less as we are using the petrol or diesel it's they are giving some emission due to the transportation and as we are using the light packaging it will reduce or decrease the emission okay and due to the decreased emission it is very much uh, beneficial for the our environment as well as for our health okay so these are the uh, means you can say the some long way benefits for, by the use of that Uh, plastic packaging material okay now here just i have highlighted for the information purpose that is while over 50% of all european goods are packaged in the plastic materials okay means they are reducing the weight and due to the reduction in weight it will reduce the uh, weight of the transportation means transportation cost and energy is uh, reduced and emissions also reduced so this is the benefit of light packaging material then already i have explained this food uh, conservation and preservation okay for whichever packaged food is there uh, it is wrapped or stored in the plastic material here uh, they have used the perishable food Okay, plastic packaging hygienically protects and preserves perishable food for longer time. What is the meaning of perishable food? Perishable food, food which will get uh, contaminated, or uh, you can say it is not of any use after few days. For example, milk. Okay, you can use it for maximum. Two three days like this only. After that, what will happen? Carbon is carbon is a process like that. Because the heat is carbon is like that. Malay English word like that. Okay. When they, what do you call that? Whichever perishable foods are there, like whichever uh, eatable products uh, we are storing. पेरिशेपेबल मराठी मध्य नाशवन जो नाशवन पदार्थ है एक दिन दिवस मध्य खराब हो रहा है नाशवंत है नॉट यूज इट आफ्टर दैट टू डेज और फोर डेज सो टू स्टोर दैट और टू प्रिजर्व दैट फूड 
we are using these plastic materials okay it can be achieved through that plastic material only okay and due to use of this uh, plastic material it does not affect the nutritional value of that food and it also it does not affect the taste of the food i think i have explained this part uh, already uh, or in, uh, in the initial conversation so next is convenient and innovative now here convenient means uh, i have explained that in the flexibility of the plastic material uh, you can manufacture the, or you can convert the plastic material in the form of film or you can use them in the form of other products or whichever dimensions you want you can manufacture it that you can say the convenience is there and nowadays suppose the plastic materials are there easily we can do the labeling on the plastic material as compared to uh, your paper it is very easy to do the labeling labeling means uh, we are writing the brand name okay some products are there like suppose hindustan unilever okay which are products is there suppose they are uh, making some face wash that pons and all this easily means labeling can be done okay uh, then uh, nowadays there is one feature you can say uh, here i have highlighted rf id radio frequency identification okay means uh, there are some plastic materials uh, there will be only one code will be created or printed and if you scan that code all details related to that product will be visible on your mobile phone okay that technique uh, will come okay i mean so i think in uh, uh, european countries or in america already uh, these techniques are available means just you have to scan the whichever code or some uh, uh, barcodes are there just you have to scan it all the uh, content means nowadays we are having that content uh, in the printed way whichever nutritional contents are there suppose you are purchasing some uh, biscuits then nutritional contents are there or suppose you have purchased medicine uh, it has printed the uh, contents suppose paracetamol like this nucleoside the chemicals are there so they are printing that so instead of that uh, one polymer compound will be there and code will be provided and if you scan it automatically it will give the details okay Uh, so these are the means lots of innovations can be done or already done and we can do more innovations very easily in the plastic materials and uh, safe and hygienic already i have explained this means plastic packaging protects the protects whichever food is there foods medicines against the contamination then helps to prevent uh, the spreading of the germs during the manufacturing or during distribution or uh, during the display then uh, which are plastic materials are there uh, they are tamper proof okay means it packaging cannot be disturbed and plastic materials uh, you can say that materials are transparent means whichever product is there inside that box you can see from outside some plastic materials are there means suppose you are purchasing some पेड़ वगैरे काय पॅकेजिंग मध्ये येतात बघा किंवा फरसाण वगैरे असेल तर ते तुम्हाला बाहेरून दिसत ट्रान्सपरंट असतो दॅट क्वालिटी सपोज इट इज रॅप इन दि पेपर यू कॅन नॉट सी वॉट इज इन साइड दॅट बॉक्स ओके मीन्स ड्यू टू दी यूज ऑफ प्लास्टिक मटेरियल ऍज दे आर ट्रान्सपरंट यू कॅन सी दि ऍक्च्युअल प्रोडक्ट विदाउट डॅमेजिंग दि दॅट पॅकेजिंग so these are some advantages you can say or benefits of using the plastic material uh, in the packaging okay in this way we have completed the applications of the plastic material in agricultural sector and in packaging sector in this today's session we have completed this part uh, already i have started this session late due to some technical issues uh, i will stop here please enter your roll numbers in the chat box for the attendance purpose all of you okay
after entering your roll number in the chat box you can leave the session in the next session uh, we will complete the remaining part that is the applications of the plastic material in uh, building and construction sector then in uh, electronic sector in medicine sector and in the furniture sector also okay please enter your uh, roll number in the chat box for attendance purpose and you can leave the session